Good morning, gamers. I don't know. Is is that the kind of thing the final gamer would say? I don't, I don't, I don't know. How is the final gamer doing today? I'm pretty... I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not too bad. I... A little, little sleepy. A little tired. Had a lot of shit to do lately. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm doing alright. Street Fighter 6 is out today. And, um... I thought a really fun way to celebrate the release of Street Fighter 6... Would be to play some Fear and Hunger. Because... F fuck everything, you know. Nothing, nothing makes, nothing has to make any sense at all. The life is without meaning. Uh, we live in a vacuum of chaos. We're all just atoms colliding together, and so we're gonna celebrate fear and hunger with, uh, or we're gonna celebrate fear and hunger with some Street Fighter Six. Cause oh, I need my glasses. Yeah. Oops. Calamir, thanks for everything you do. You have fans all the way from Pakistan. Thank you. That's that's really sweet. And I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Um, did you have to wait for the Uncensored Mod to play this on Twitch? The Uncensored Mod released while I was making my Fear and Hunger video. Which really would have been great to know about. Because I wouldn't have had to spend two entire days censoring out dicks. Um, and I think that would have been a reasonable use of my time. But, uh, there you go. Shit's a fucking nightmare sometimes. Uh, sometimes you... Sometimes you make a video about how you think Hunter x Hunter is a pretty cool anime. And then, seven years later, for no discernible reason at all, your job is to censor out dicks for two whole days. Um, doesn't matter how it happens. Um... I think we can bla safely blame Wooly for that one. I think we can safely blame Wooly for a lot. Personally, um, I've actually been thinking about like really distancing myself from Wooly. Um, I think uh, his inflammatory statements are a detriment to my brand. And you guys know I'm all about the branding. You know, I'm all about uh, that rise and shine, hustle, grind set, and distancing myself from anyone who, who has negative energy. And I just feel like Wooly has negative energy. So I think that's kind of it. For me and Wooly online, um, I think we're kind of done. The, um, the show the shirt. Oh, th I, I am actually wearing a official Eye Patch Wolves Crow T-shirt. Um, I recently found a brand new manufacturer for the Crow shirt because the other manufacturer stopped making T-shirts, and I gotta say, pretty fucking dope. If you don't mind me asking, and um, if people wanna check it out, it's at eyepatchwolves.com. Um, we have small, medium, large, not extra large. But two extra large, three extra large, four extra large. Um, don't know how long they'll last. That is a popular t-shirt. I don't say that because I'm trying to create any FOMO. Fucking don't buy what you don't want. Um, but just so people know if you have been like hanging on waiting to get that t-shirt because it's been sold out for a bit. It's there. Everything else as far as I know fully stocked. No rush. Don't worry about it. So yeah. Um, I played Street... Oh, man, I was playing Street Fighter 6 today and... I was like, okay, I've carved out two hours in the morning that I'm going to play Street Fighter 6. I took Street Fighter 6 day off because I always take Street Fighter day off. Every time a Street Fighter game comes out, I take it off, which means I've taken two days off for that in the last 12 years. And it they've both been great. Um, I carved out two hours this morning. I also had some like stuff to do. And so I started playing it at 8, played a few rounds with Marissa, looked at my clock, and I had been playing for about three hours the exact same thing happened again when I played it this evening. That game fucking rules. Oh my god, it's so good. I am I'm so happy with it. It's so good. Um I did see a really funny tweet. Someone was talking about modern controls and he called them woke control. <laughs> oh, so basically they put these controls in for like people who, you know, haven't you know new to street fighter haven't been playing street fighter for a million years and some dude <laughs> he, so he calls them woke controls and it's so fucking funny because it's like street fighter and it's like it's like i remember when when street fighter you know they didn't they didn't feel a need to to in include people of different cultures the the original street fighter 2 you know the uh, the world warriors you had guile an american man and and ken 
That's everybody. That that's everyone who was in the game. It's like you fucking dumb piece of shit. <laughs> oh, and like it's that that said, I'm never going to play modern controls, but I don't care. Like, cool. That like okay, we're having a party tomorrow night at my place, and we're gonna play some Street Fighter Six. A lot of my friends don't play Street Fighter. I'm definitely gonna put them on modern controls because that'll be like fun for them, I assume. Um. When are you going to stream this? When are you going to be the stream of Book Bumble? Uh, I think, I think I have, I think I have drawn the ire of the Book Bumble community. I think, uh, I think some people took my, um, I think some people took my my words in the Fear and Hunger video about destroying the Book Bumble Wikipedia page, perhaps a a little too seriously, and. Um, yeah, <laughs> just if you go to the change log in the um, if you go to the change log in the book bumble Wikipedia page, uh, there's some interesting stuff and there's some um people not happy with me. Uh, and whoops, that I, uh, I did a bad again, but um, that's you know you know that 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 happens. There's a book bumble community. Oh, buddy, Nata. At, at this point, there's an everything community. You know that you any that that's what my like my escapades on the internet have taught me. If there is anything, there's a community around it. There's a community around the Street Fighter, Street Fighter the movie, the game. There's a Street Fighter. There's a community around that game. And that's me. That's without me saying anything about the quality of the game. I've never actually played it. I don't know, but there's communities for everything. Um, I'm sorry. I could never get into you hack show. Don't be sorry. Like, some I've never understood the attitude of like apologizing for not liking something. You know, I remember before someone apologized to me like in real life. Like, genuinely apologized to me for not liking something I was into. And it was, like... It kind of pissed me off, because it was, like... Do you think I value your opinion that much? Because, buddy... I don't. You know? I get apologizing when something clearly means a lot to someone. Absolutely not. You should never apologize for not enjoying something. It's not a failure on... It's not, it's not a failure on you, you know? It's just you didn't enjoy it, you know? Art isn't about trying to enjoy something. Now, you should give everything a shot. That is to say, I think you should go in with an open mind. You should put your good time hat on and try and have a good time with it. But if it doesn't speak to you, it doesn't speak to you, you know? Like, if someone was upset... Okay. I have had... I, ha I have had it before where certain friends get upset that I didn't like something and I don't mean to be cold about it but I do think like that's kind of their problem this was years ago now though like years and years and years ago uh, hey John what's your opinion on Hidetaka Miyazaki that's the that's the Dark Souls fella if I'm not mistaken right um hack uh fucking hack uh he can't make games I think I think what's really sad about he had attack of Miyazaki is that like you know when you see someone doing something and he just very clearly has no skill at all that's what happens with him you know like I played Demon Souls and um you know uh it wasn't balanced right so I died and I just you know I put it down from there but from what I understand people ended up buying that game because everyone just keeps feeling really sorry for him and um yeah, then he released seven other games and people just kept buying them out of pity. He's kind of like the Ralph Wiggum of the games industry. And, um, you know, I think it's really cute that he's still trying. But, uh, you know, at some point you got to just recognize that, like, no one wants to play your games and that there's never going to be a fandom around what you do. And, um, oh, another thing, uh, no story in his games. You have to read the item descriptions. That's just terrible. You know, he should put some cutscenes in there. Uh, he should, he should, um, he should put codex calls in, in his video games so that the different characters could talk to each other. I think that would make it a lot better. Um, I think he should probably take the boss battles out. I think that's one thing I noticed that, um, 
that no one ever cares about with Dark Souls or really has any opinion on. They're just, you know, who cares? Like, who who cares? What's what's the point? Um, I think his games shouldn't be so sad. Uh, I think he should put dating elements into his games. I okay. I think if if Hidetaka Miyazaki wants another wants to take a shot at making video games, I think he should really try a visual novel. I think Dark Souls 4 should be a visual novel. And just make it like an hour long. Like none of, not, none of this like 70 hour shit. You know what I mean? Um, And yeah, I'm all about positivity. And I just don't think his games have a whole lot. So yeah, that's my full that's my full take on Hidetaki Miyazaki. Next question, please. What's your favorite Ghibli movie? Man, you know, I go back and forth on that a lot. Um, I'm thinking it's really hard for me to separate separate myself from my first experience with Spirited Away, right? Because like when I first saw Spirited Away, I know I've told this story on stream before. I'm gonna fucking tell it again, and most of you are gonna listen. Um, when I the first my first introduction to like any studio ghibli anything like that was during the matrix reloaded and um uh a trailer for spirited away played now imagine having no concept of what studio ghibli is of what this was like before people were mad about it i'm, I'm old as most of you know i saw the mate the second matrix movie in the cinema i was a teenager that should that should ballpark you that how old I am. And so this was before there was like a widespread understanding that Studio Ghibli made like the greatest shit in the world, you know? And um, so me and my friends stoned as fuck watching the Matrix Reloaded. We saw this trailer and we really loved, I love the Matrix Reloaded. I still love that film, genuinely. And um, we came out and we were like, did you see that fucking trailer? What was that looked insane? And so then three months later, um, Spirited Away came out. And we, like me and this guy, were the only people in our lives who knew who knew that, we didn't know what Studio Ghibli was. We just knew that this film called Spirited Away was coming out. We went there. We went to see it in the cinema. I sat, I watched the whole thing with no concept of what it was. And legit, like I'm dead serious here, changed my fucking life. I came out of that cinema being like, I want to work in animation. I want to do shit like this, you know? And then I went to animation college. I got a job at animation. I worked there for six years. And then I started making YouTube videos. Uh, this stream wouldn't be happening, I don't think, if I hadn't seen Spirited Away. He's lying to you all. His favorite movie is Pom Poco. I'm, I was getting to that! Um, to this day, I'm not sure if I've watched all of Pom Poco or not. It's like three hours long and i don't think anyone's ever actually finished it uh it's fine it's it's I, although no i don't want to say it's fine i don't think i have i don't think I, I i don't think i remember that film enough to have an opinion on it and i should i should watch it because last year i rewatched all the ghibli movies turns out they're all great <laughs> not really a bad one among them i even like tales of earthseed is that ghibli i know it's miyazaki's son i can't remember if ghibli produced it or not um, Kaijin Goomba, oh dude, Pompoko is supremely awesome. Ah, uh, they're all pretty good. I, I, I will go back and watch it. Yeah, okay. So guys, listen. We could sit around talking anime all day. But the final gamer has some work to do. We're going to be playing Fear and Hunger now in a minute. Um... One thing I would be keen to stress that may or may not have got tested last week. We are playing Fear and Hunger. We are playing with a mod to remove anything um, untoward, we shall say. But the way I always start these streams is that there is a non-zero chance of dicks here. Okay? Last week, we may or may not have had a tiny little cur just a little a little snag a little li little little issue that may or may not have happened where a dick may have appeared on stream for but a moment but um the goal is for that not to happen and it was because i 
it was because I may or may not have clicked the right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, we're playing with a censored mod. But if you're of a se if you're of a sensitive disposition, I would maybe warn you about fear and hunger a little bit. If you think this game looks cool, for the love of God, check out the content warnings before you check it out because we're playing a censored version, actual version. Ooh, some shit in there. There's some shit in there. Holy shit, Tomash19, go for the leg swipe. You can destroy every door, even the Chromaller key door. That is bananas. Lagarde has leg swipe. So we can, if we... Oh, oh hey, wow. thanks for subscribing. Oh, thank you for the subscription. Um, Mio Max, thank you for the 26 month subscription. Pine codes only in the final gamers chat. <laughs> Thank, thank you, Mia Max. That's very, very generous. I appreciate it. Okay, let's get going here. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a, kind of the same we were doing last week. We're going to be doing a Dark Priest run, and we're going to be trying to get a good enough run to enter the end game. Now, as a reminder, I am playing on terror and starvation mode, okay? All these little fucking babies coming out of the woodwork and telling me how to play fear and hunger when they're playing on fear and hunger mode. I don't appreciate it. Not you guys. You guys are great. But I've seen that sentiment and it's like, are you playing terror and starvation? Are you playing terror and starvation? Yeah, anyway. Um, so we're going to be doing Dark Priest because I love the Dark Priest. Sorry, that, sorry, that was so loud. The the fi friend, guys, the the final gamer is a, is a passionate man, and sometimes I I sometimes I let I, I let I let these things get away from me. And but are you playing hard mode? No, I okay. Look, I will I will admit, I have more balls than everyone who plays on Fear and Hunger. Nowhere near enough to play hard mode. I'll pl I'll I'll try hard mode on stream at some point. But we have a job to do here, okay? I wanna, I want, I need to beat this game and have it out of my life. I'm gonna go new game because I'm not sure about this, but I don't know what dictates the seed you get with your, with the dungeon. Um, beware the game contains scenes of extreme violence, gore, sexual violence, drug usage. If you're sensitive to such subjects, it's advised not to play this game. I would follow that, follow that message, people. Um, happy Pride Month. Yeah, happy Pride Month, everyone. Hope, hope everyone's have, having a good one. Um, does it have saving like Termania? I have not played Termania. Um, who's your custom fighter in Street Fighter 6 looks like? Uh, you guys will be shocked to hear that my custom character in Street Fighter 6 is a girl with biceps. Sometimes you gotta live the gimmick, right? You just sometimes you, just, you like what you like. Uh, I always go. Which god do you guys wanna? Do you guys wanna support the the god of destruction, the god of fucking, or uh, basically Jesus, or just this weird god of the depths? Which which which? Who 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 are you guys feeling passionate about today? Uh, oh, sex god, fucking fucking. Okay, I think it's fucking. And here we go. Oh, oh, you feeling that dopamine chat? What are we getting? What do we get? You search to crate for anything useful. You find five tinder boxes. Not bad. Not bad. You search to crate for anything useful. You find cheese. Okay. You search to crate for anything useful. You find a pipe. That's good. A pipe is good with the dark priest. You good. Find a pine cone. Eh. Anything useful. You find five tinder boxes. That's not so good. And search for two eggs. Mm. Rommy. Uh not 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 super. Not not a super first roll. Tried me. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and not impulsively hammer the space bar. That's some real um That's some real uh Skinner box shit. I'm like, give me, give me the dopamine. I need it! I need it! Du, du, du. Red herb. And we get a little green herb here. I know this layout of this dungeon. Uh any layout of the basement isn't actually that bad because the dungeon just isn't that hard. Um, you will inevitably get into one or two encounters with those octopuses, but it's it's fine. They're only really a problem if you get really unlucky. And um, people asking where to get fear, to, uh, fear and hunger. 
Um, you can get it on Steam, you get it on itch.io, but if you want the censor mod, I think the censored mod only works for one of the downloadable, um, for the downloadable version, which I think is from itch. Could you confirm that just to watch, if you don't mind? Okay, what do we got? Anything useful? Bottle of ale. Mm, anything useful? Find yourself a coin. So, this is much the same as last time. The key item we need for this whole run to come together is a, um... Explosive vial. Quill. Oh, okay. A quill is interesting. Blue vial. Anything useful? Find a blue herb. Useful. Find a white vial. Nee. It's okay. We're going to grab some rotten meat. I am less familiar with this layout than I am the other layout, but that's okay. Nice. Okay, what are we getting? Plate mail helmet. Plate mail helmet is good, but Dark Priest is too weak to carry it. And plate mail helmet. Awesome. Two plate mail helmets. Plate mail helmets. Perfect. And we got the witch suck. Um, we want to get all the items here, but we don't want the witch to attack us because she will just body us right now. Uh, will you play Signalis? I have. It's a very good game. Yes! Explosive file! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, this run ha now has stakes. This run is now a go. Chat, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. We just we just have to be careful. Um, not Just as long as nothing goes wrong. Necromancy has failed. Oh, shit. Uh, hmm, okay. Um, this can occasionally fuck you up. Uh, he doesn't do a ton of damage. Okay, uh. Ah! Uh, mm. Okay, I'm just gonna keep aiming for his body. Okay, uh. The counter magic. God damn it, I forgot. Okay, that wasn't super. We took way too much damage now. I think if I use counter magic on him, the problem is that he will... Damn it! If I use counter magic on him, I think his corpse disappears, and I don't know if I can resurrect him then. Yeah, no, just to watch you're right. I won't need I won't need the 60 HP. You don't have enough sanity. Oh shit. Uh oh wait, I do want to search it because one advantage of having to fight the skeleton is you can Oh, sometimes sometimes he gives you Um Sometimes he gives you a skeleton arm, which is actually a really good item because the little girl can wield it and it lets her do like okay damage. Um Okay, this should all mean that we can get to Lagarde ASAP. We're going to have to be a little careful. I want to take things slow enough that we are not going to die. But this this is a really promising run so far. I just want to grab this shit because I will forget about it. We have 30 minutes to reach Lagarde, but we should be fine at this point. So now we have to go back to the main lobby and get the mock-up book. Because that's going to open up the secret passage. Whew. Okay. This is exciting. We spent most of the last stream trying to get an explosive vial. Tomato. Blue herb. We're still not getting anything amazing, but we're doing okay. And I would like to grab some armor... Um, does the combat time count as Lagarde's time? I think it does. I'm not 100% about that, though. Blue vial, okay. Water vial, me. And what happens if you lose a coin flip to save the game? You get attacked by whatever enemy is in the area. You can negate that by having killed all enemies in the area. 
But um, in cases like this one, you're not going to get attacked by this big golden guy up here. But yeah, that's what can happen there. Leather helmet, good. Red vial, okay. Red vial, very good. We will need that much, much later on. Oh, shit. Uh, this guy's a pain, but an iron spear, okay. Quill, but he can't really do that much to you. Um, because he's so slow and he gets stuck on everything. This, th I've, I've said this before, this table is bugged. Sometimes you pass this check and get nothing. I'm going to use a lucky coin. It's like that. Oh, that's so fucking annoying and I blew a lucky coin on it. Um, the silver coins... Oh, okay, that's a really good piece of armor. The silver coins are used to buy things from various characters. Very rarely are they worthwhile. There's a good shop really late in the late game, but it's not like... So can he... No, he can't wear it. Stupid, weak, dark priest. And um, there's a guy who sells like fake potions that don't do anything and I kept I, I thought like something was wrong and they weren't working but I think they're literally there as a fuck you and I got way into the late game and was relying on them and then realized how fucked I was. Um, I'm not going to touch mercenary right now. Am I? Should I? Oh, da- Oh, uh, mmm, 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 mmm. Well, that's bad. Uh, um, I think I gotta blow some healing items here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't even care. No. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. It doesn't matter if he cuts my limbs off, though. Okay, I think running is the best option. It, he can cut both my limbs off, and it doesn't matter, because this is not the body I will be continuing with. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 get out of there. Oh, fucking God damn it. Oh, that's really bad. That is really, really bad. Uh... I'm- I am in a tough position. See, I can try run again, but I don't think- Oh, no, I can. I'm just gonna- Okay, no, no, we- No, can't run through the- the ballista. Okay, I'm just gonna try and take out his legs and take out his head. This- I- I might be fucked. Oh, he's got the stinger as well, though. I just have to pray to Gogora that this works out. He loads an arrow into the ballista. That's two legs down. Oh my god! Well, folks, that's uh, that's just how she be sometimes. And uh, that was pretty exciting there for a moment. Um, and just to be clear, just for everyone to be clear, uh, I had not activated final gamer mode, okay? Uh, I didn't want to do it this early in the stream. So uh, just keep that in mind. Are you still super eye patch wolf for now then? Uh, yes, yes I am.
Um, I have not activated my more powerful form of the final gamer. I will when we need it. Um, you know what? Let's go for Grogoroth. Okay. Starting again. That's what, that's what it's all about. Find some tobacco. Eh. Cabbage. Torch. Oil. Throwing knife. Not bad, not bad. Uh, has Leslie Bestington beaten Fear and Hunger? Uh, Leslie Bestington has never played a video game. He doesn't even really understand what they are. Sometimes they come up in conversation and he, like, nods along, but he genuinely, like, he doesn't, he doesn't get it. Like, he doesn't understand. 86 fucking damage. Oh, I'm so sick about that chat. Oh, weird spot for the Witch Suck. He had to play the FIFA. He doesn't enjoy sports. He doesn't... Leslie Bestington doesn't like anything that might take him out of that hustle grind set. Uh, it's a waste of time. The Witch Suck is worth it pretty much entirely for these two crates. I want that mushroom, but I don't want an octopus fight. Ooh, that was that was, that was a little close there, chat. That was a little didn't didn't like that. Is she even worth fighting? Uh, I don't know. She attacks you way later on, like in real in real life, and um, she's not that hard because at that point you have like four characters, or you should. Uh, at this point, you're you're. She's a tough fight. She will nearly definitely kill you at this point. Next level coins. Pipe. Pipe is good for Necromancer. Um because you you can get all that. Get all get all that sweet, sweet mental energy back, bro. If you know if you if you know what I'm saying. Arm guards. Oh, I can, I believe Dark Priest can wear them. Dark Priest, you're so shit! Oh. I'm trying to think what I could, what I should have done differently in that last encounter. It was just tough because we were trapped between two ogres and we we're going to have to fight one of them. See, there's a bear trap. We could have been okay. Um... But yeah, that was that was really bad luck because it happened early enough long that we didn't really have many options. I think we just had to, we would we probably would have had to go all the way back out, but that would have been a nightmare. Hey, okay, let's do this again. God damn, getting unlucky. Maybe go for the ballista first. Um, but it's the ballista that killed us. Like the ballista was the problem. Oh, I'm infected. Oh my god, he's whooping my ass. Oh, Jesus. I am not dying to this shitty skeleton. I am not dying to this shitty skeleton. Yes. Okay. Um, who in the chat would like to be named after the skeleton? Me, me, me. Okay. Bep Zinky. Bep Zinky. Sorry, Bep Zinky was the first. Um, I'm not gonna name anyone after the ghouls because uh. It, 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 look, it's not important why, okay? But just that was that was a mistake we very nearly made last week, and by by Jones, it ain't happening again. I don't think I even have much I can equip this guy with. Arm guards, there you go, stupid skeleton. Um, I'm going to blow two lucky coins on armor here because we need something. Soulstone, nice. That's a really good find. 
Um, there is no advantage to keyboard versus controller. I just am too lazy to bring my controller in. I should, though, because I, I am better at controlling a controller than I am a keyboard, and it occasionally fucks me up. Red Vile, that's, that's, good, that's a good find. There is nothing of use here. That's such bullshit! Oh, that's so annoying. Um, I have not played Fear and Hunger 2 yet. The first time I'm going to play Fear and Hunger 2 properly is going to be on this stream. And as I have stated many times before, I'm going to one-shot that shit. Straight, one, one, one CC straight through to the end. Uh, I've staked my life on it. I've staked my reputation on it. Um, no problem. At that point, I'm going to be so good at Fear and Hunger that just straight, just going to beat it. Oh, eyeglasses. Oh, eyeglasses are such a good item. Okay, that's a really good find. Um, eyeglasses raise your accuracy a lot. And it makes headshotting things like in the first round viable. Uh, eyeglasses are great. Okay, I know what I should have done differently. I should have got the mercenary from the start. And I don't know that I can. Oh, no, I got a red vial. Yeah, I should have got the mercenary. That was my mistake. That is how we could have saved the last run. I am an idiot. But, hey, look, you live and learn. Um, because now the mercenary will let us actually be able to take on guards. Lesson learned, do not try and go through the prison with the Dark Priest without the Mercenary. Lest a, lest a, lest a terrible fate befall you. I could have waited. Um, that's okay. Dark Priest is very low health, but I think we can kill this guy before anything bad happens. Okay, I think the problem is, is I'm too hot. It's it's too hot in Ireland right now, and I gotta open my window. Because uh, I don't think the air is circulating, and I'm not, I'm not thinking right, chat. I'm get, getting very upset, and uh, that's that's the problem. Uh, that that's that's what went wrong there. Yeah, yeah. It's the humidity, chat. It's the humidity. That's the problem. That's what's going wrong here. Let me fix that lighting. <laughs> How was I gonna play the game when I'm too hot? You know, that's that's just that's. That's, it's, it's global warming's problem, as someone in the chat just said. Yeah, okay. Um, we're gonna get, we're gonna get back in there. Back on the fucking piece of shit horse. Yeah, anyway, so chat, I think that's enough practice sessions. Um, I think, I think that's, uh, I feel loose now, you know? Um, I feel like we're ready, really ready to fucking rock and roll here. Um, I feel limber, you know? It's, uh... Oh, an ogre. That's okay. Uh, that's no one's allowed. Clip that. Clip that. Airds a twitch. That's not. That's not. Yeah, yeah. That's that's not allowed. Um. Oh, just to say, new rule for the chat going forward. Um, if anyone, no one's allowed clip my deaths. Uh, no one's allowed share them around. That's private. That's between. Oh, that's between me and you guys. Um. If I catch anyone doing that, you're you're out of here, buddy. And I don't just mean like this Twitch channel, I mean like the internet. You're gone. Um I'm not I will not stand for it. You'll you will have made yourself powerful enemy. I can't tell you how much worse I am at fear and hunger on Twitch. It's agonizing. <laughs> That's, oh, it's this stream stream curse is such a real thing. Oh, this is a weird layout. Oh, no, wait. I think this is actually a very normal layout. Yeah, oh, no. This is this is actually the layout I am most used to down here. 
Um, the only problem with this layout is that there is a octopus man just up ahead who's very hard not to get in a fight with. Buckler. Oh, okay. That's that's a good early item. Yo! Ooh. Oh, chat. That was early. That was... We going. We going. Um... Cool. Uh, that that's good. That's really good. Okay, that's uh, irritating. Okay, not getting any items. That's that's okay. Um. Oh, we are rolling bad on the old armor fronts. Quill could be huge later. Yes, it could. Leg guards, okay, can't wear them. Small key. I'm gonna let this guy come out a little bit. Um, we need to resurrect that skeleton, is the conclusion I have come to, because we 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 are just too fragile against the guards without 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 like a proper shield and by shield i mean skeleton oh not bad i and i think i can equip this hell yeah that's a big improvement to the dark priest offense okay that's good that's that's quite good this ain't bad this run ain't bad this 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 is a little life to it there we go The sounds should be a bit better. Do you guys hear like the dripping noise and stuff? <laughs> Imagine the witch killed us. Imagine the witch witch killed us, and we got this good sword, and we got the uh, <laughs> we got the explosive vial. That ain't gonna happen. Three silver coins, blue herb, and we're out of here. Whew. Okay, it's good now. Cool. Thank you. That actually, that drops us in a different place that we're summoned, I think. Dirt. I don't know what the dirt does. Find a quill. Okay, quills are good. Quill Quills are quite good. Um, I don't want to say what you can do with quills, but the first time I figured it out, I generally, my fucking mind exploded. Yeah, if we can find empty scrolls, we're, we're in it. We're, we're doing nice. Um, this, okay. I don't want, okay. Oh, okay. Chat. This run is starting to feel pretty good. Uh, okay. Who wants to be the skeleton? First person. Um, and now we already have a bit of shit we can put on Enchinopa. Okay, cool. So, we are going to be going... Okay. Yeah, we're, we're going to be getting the mock-up book, and then we're going to be heading straight for Lagarde. Um, there's a lot of things that can go wrong between here and there, but let's... We, we have a shield, we have a decent-ish sword. It, it might work out, we might be okay. Um, I just want to drain this place, and then we're going to head. Um, do you save this run? Oh, I don't know if I want to waste a save. Fuck it, yeah, let's, let's, let's save it. Combat before marriage is dangerous. Very true. Very wise words. Throwing dart. Oh, okay. Throwing dart. Super important item for much later. A second explosive vial? Crazy. A third explosive vial! 
What is happening? Short sword. Uh, short sword is like one of the worst weapons in the game, so that's not great. Oh, meat cleaver is good. Hell yeah. Actually, I think meat cleaver is only okay. Still, still, we'll take it. Now our skeleton do, can do actual damage. Chainmail hood. I Can dark priest wear that? Okay, okay. We're going. Uh, no, th that that shit wasn't... Okay, I if I try and sleep in that bed again and I fail, the crow mauler will attack me. So, no thank you. I don't think we have a way to save the merc up here. Uh, we can try and we can try break the door down. I don't think we can do it, but stupid skeleton. I don't want to waste too much too long doing this, but I'm gonna give it one more go. If we boat hit it, hit it, we might do it. But I think these doors have more HP. You stupid. Okay, no, I don't think this is gonna happen. Um, I think we would have a better chance of killing the ogre with the key. Um, we will come back and get him later. The fact that he's there signals to me that this is a bit of a weird layout. Okay. Hey, 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 buddy. Oh, you piece of shit. You absolute fucking asshole. Oh, I'm back. Come on, come on. Mm. His pine cone is dead. Oh, sweet revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. He did a bit more damage to me than I'd like, but it's not too bad. Um... Yeah, okay. Find a cloth fragment. Okay, not a great find there. I was hoping that he was the one with the key. He seems not to be, which is a little... Oh, dear. Uh, this is my least favorite room layout for this place. There can be two ogres in here sometimes, and that is really bad. Uh, well, okay, let's see. See... There, sometimes when the room is laid out like this, there is also a captain on the other side of it. And it's, it's a shit, like, that will kill you. But let's hope that's not the case. That is not the case? That's not the case. Great, good shit. Um, actually, I didn't need to do that. I didn't, I didn't need, but that's fine. I would have had to do it at some point. Red Vial, that's another super important item for later. That's really good. Uh, this is, I, I, I officially declare this a good run. Um, yeah, this, this, this has tremendous promise. Um, I could kill him and get some shit, but I will come back later when I'm stronger and fuck him up. Um, the only potentially dangerous thing here could be there might be another ogre down this way. Nope, we're good. We're all we're all solid. Find dirt, wooden buckler. I think we can give that to our skeletal friend. Um, yeah, you can tear the flags. You can tear the flags. You can also tear the beds. And they're both super important. There's a few different ways to play this section, but right now I don't feel like fucking around too much.
Yeah, he he's not dangerous. It's just there's um there's another NPC in this area and their quest lines are kind of tied together in a weird way and I don't want to activate either. Torch died down. Sometimes there's an ogre this way. Okay, all good. Okay, perfect. This is that's the layout I wanted. Um, I'm just gonna ignore him. I will come back for you later, buddy. There's the bone saw. That okay. <gasps> oh, that I didn't like that. Uh, leave. If ever you hear a mouse squeaking at one of the bookshelves, stay away from it because that will lead to infection. Uh, find the fellowship. Okay, these are all like lore books, nothing particularly useful. Oh, recipes of the 15th century. Uh, I think this just has like a bunch of cooking shit in it. Uh, it's This isn't actually too bad though. Oh... I've never gotten black or blood vials. I don't know where you get them. Um, because you can actually make some, like, pretty potent food. Oh, wow. Oh, that's great. Um, this has let us actually combine all our food into, like, good food. Which is really, really cool. Because um, it means later on we'll have an actual decent food supply. Alchemical volume 3. Oh, I think that's a good one. Oh, cool. Okay, we can make light blue vials now. Good ship. Good ship. Oh, I shouldn't have come here first. I should have gotten the thing. The mock-up book. Oh, God. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. If he sees us, we're, we're just dead. Like, we're just straight up dead. Mm. I don't think there's any point in even making us not hungry. Shit. Oh god. Uh please don't see us. 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 Oh, okay. You hear a crack underneath your feet? No. No. That's not great. That's not great. Uh, although this side of this area does have a bunch of, like, handy shit. Actually, that's not that's not too bad. I don't think that's actually going to affect us. Because there's no ogres in the prison left that can be a serious problem to us. So we can just get some new items. I'm a bit worried about the time limit. Because we do have to let to get to Lagarde in 30 minutes. Um, I don't want to blow an explosive vial on that. How are we doing on torches? We are out of torches. And we are out of material to make torches. Uh, <laughs> um, uh oh, that's bad. That's incredibly bad. Um, oh shit, what should I do? What should I do? Um, fuck. I could go down to the mines and grab some torches. I think that might be the best option. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, I think we... I think we also have enough items to grab Moonless. We don't have enough rotten meat to grab. This is bad. This is bad. We could be in trouble. We could be in trouble, chat. You found a torch. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Fuck. Oh, that might have been a mistake. That might have been an uh oh. Oh, hey, thanks for talking. Uh, hmm.
Okay, it must have been another entrance. It must have been another entrance. My god! Oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that one bit. Oh. Okay. I think we can still make it in, in plenty time. Um, It's going to be a little scary, but I think we can do it. There was no ogres along here the last time, so let's just take the bottom route. Um, okay, we just need to get that mock-up book. The only thing that I'm a little scared of is we're going to have to get past that general again. Um, and he could be a huge problem. Let's hope that doesn't have let's hope that all goes okay um because those those generals i think can usually see it from like i think five tiles away uh fuck 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 okay i don't want to deal with that zombie Ugh. oh <gasps> Oh, I'm infected. God damn it. Oh, he's a coming. He's a coming. Oh, there's an ogre that I don't want to fucking fight. Where's the library? Where is the library? I don't want to activate the dogs either. There's another ogre. There's another ogre. We have a bear trap though. Okay, we're on our last torch. Oh, this is why you play this awful game. Uh, yes, another torch. Okay, gotta go, 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 go. Don't activate the dogs, don't activate the dogs, don't activate the dogs. Oh, I hate this stupid piece of shit game. Oh, it's such a bad game. Okay, there's the mock-up book. Um... Find the mock-up book. Great. Okay. Okay. Now we gotta go. We gotta go. Bloody flower magic. I think that is a good book. It's not gonna matter for the moment, but oh, here's a little tip. Here's a little tip. Uh, we're infected. I don't want to die. Uh, I also don't want to waste a green herb. Um. So what I can actually just do is um saw off my arm there we go okay is he still up there motherfucker oh my god actually actually Oh, that piece of shit, that's... Oh my god, I am fucking trapped. I am completely trapped between these two assholes. I can't believe he avoided the bear trap. Oh, I stepped on a nail... Oh, this is going- I'm infected again! I'm infected again! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna use- I actually have a couple of green herbs, so I'll use that. I don't want to saw off my leg. I know there's an ogre down here.
Oh, hey, thanks for subscribing. Now. Okay. Okay, okay. The final gamer kicks in. Oh, uh, I need a torch bad, so I might. Oh, we're in trouble. We are in trouble, chat. Is he? Okay, shit. Oh, shit. What is he doing? Okay, actually, I know where there's tinder boxes, but we have to go back down that hallway past him. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Fuck. I guess we ain't we going where without those tinder boxes, chat. Um, there's two crates up here. If these things don't have a tinder box, we are fucked. Metro Chris, damn it. Damn it. Mushrooms. Oh, now we have to get past the dogs. I don't know we can do this. Uh, we're gonna run. Later, fuckers. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have one torch. And this place, you cannot navigate without a torch. Uh, we have to find the secret entrance fast. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Yes! Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus, no. Um... There was a stick before the dogs. Uh, we we have sticks. Uh, st oh, God damn it. Sticks aren't the problem. Um, we don't have any tinder boxes. Come on, come on, come on. Give me something, give me something. Just something. I don't even know that there's any supplies down here. <gasps> a torch! A torch! Chat! A torch! Uh, I'm not gonna fuck with the Muramasa blade right now. Um, I cannot handle that. We might come back and get it later. Oh, I'm so relieved about that torch. Uh, but where... Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Our torch is dying. There's a mumbler. Mm. No, thank you. I do not want to talk. I do not want to talk to you either. Torch is dying. Oh, you can actually see a little bit down, down here without a torch. I always thought this was one of the pitch black areas. I guess it's not. Did 
this should power. We have the torch. We do have the power, but a limited... Oh, it was right there. It was right there. Deeper thicket. This is usually where you encounter the barbarian, but I never have. Um, because I, I never... I always forget to max out his dialogue before coming here. Okay, we have to have her because the Mumbler Queen is down here and she will straight up kill us. Like, she will she will murder us instantaneously. Hunger is driving the priest mad. We don't want that. So let's give him... We just need to find one more. If we can drop down one more time, we're we're on the home stretch here. Um, I I will kill this thing. Uh, this has very late game ramifications, but we don't need to really worry about it at the moment. No, thank you. Oh Christ, where is it? We're running out of torch. We're gonna be out of torch any second now. But I know it's close. Shit! That's the Mumbler Queen. That is who we don't want to fuck with. Yes! 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 Oh! Catacombs, chat. Catacombs, we're doing it. We are nearly at Lagarde. We are nearly at Lagarde. We just have to make sure that nothing goes wrong torch awesome i all you always find a torch like right before you're about to run out of torches but you have to be near a crate for that to happen it's shit 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 i don't know how to get past this guy without using a red vial on that door but we need the red vial for later uh uh mm. that's how that's how the final gamer always has a plan Okay, 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 we just, okay, we just have to wait for that captain to turn his back. But we also have to be careful because there's another ogre to the north who can spawn here. Oh! I completely fucking forgot that that can happen. Um. Please, 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 please. Why why am I straight back in? I escaped. Oh! Oh, this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's right. Okay, Lagarde's alive. We have made it to Lagarde alive. The crow mauler is right behind us. He is literally right there the second we get out of this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh fuck every part of this. Lagarde's probably like, oh, I have been saved by this noble priest and his friend, the crow man. Hey, yeah, good news, Lagarde. Uh, you're you're saved. Uh, bad news, we're about about to be murdered by a terrifying mutants. Um. And here he comes. Uh, we're ducking and diving. We're do. There's also a a ogre captain right outside the door. Uh, what the fuck am I meant to do? That, I suppose. So this is a complete fucking nightmare. Like, um, we're, I don't, uh, huh, uh.
Oh shit. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Do we have any bear traps left? Oh, hey, thanks for subscribing. Not a damn thing. Um, Optimus Swine, thank you for the 14 month three subscription. Here for 14 months now watching Johnson drift himself for torture willingly. <laughs> <laughs> if we can escape, that might actually be a good thing. Because now we just have to get past the crow mauler. Actually... We give him the long sword, he should now be able to leg sweep doors. Wow, the iron mace is weak. Um. Oh, I had three other subscribers too. Thank you for that notification. Um I I will do a Ninja Turtle 9K, thank you for the subscription. Um Pop Tart Kitty X, thank you for the nine month subscription. We believe in you. You got this. You're amazing. Thank you for all you do. Thank you, Pop Tart Kitty. You're very sweet. Uh, CPT Parrot Head, thank you for the subscription. Sorry that I completely missed those chat. Uh, this game, this game has me whiling. What can I say? Okay. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, one dragon, thank you for the subscription. Oh, I d oh my god, I guarded instead of ran. I guarded instead of ran. He broke Lagarde's bones. No! It's really interesting to come face to face with, like, the moment that your soul left your body. You know? Just... Devastation. <laughs> I think, I think, uh, I think what we gotta do is make this an emote, right? This face right here. I think this has to be an emote. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna screen grab this. Uh, and I will I will have that as an emote for the next stream. <laughs> Okay, fuck it. Look, let's give it one more shot. Let's... Let's try our best here. But my god, this fucking game. You can do it. I appreciate the support chat, but I think I have pretty handily proved I cannot do it. <laughs> oh my god. That I, you know, you know the fucked up part. Sometimes the crow mauler doesn't even spawn there. Sometimes it genuinely does not spawn there. Oh, oh, chat. Um, I think this time I want to explore a little more in the kind of main area because we nearly nearly ran out of torches and that was dangerous blue vial six silver coins 
Quile. Quill. Quills, quills are good items. Um, uh, going into the... Oh, hey, uh, thanks for subscribing. Going into the, going into the caves, bad idea. But I mean, he, but Crowwater was always going to spawn. Um, Captain Larry Prime. I mean, look, I'm, I'm happy we got such a good moment on, on stream. Like, that was, that was truly special. But my god, the, the chat... My the fucking soul left my body. It really did. It really did. Maybe my new uh, maybe my new subscription noise should be me screaming at that. Oh, just so painful. When are you gonna play Gollum? Nah. I think that I think that's well well worn territory, right? Ooh. God damn it. Oh shit. We didn't pull a red vial. Oh dear. Okay, this changes this changes kind of everything. Um do we get him now? You know what? I think we should. Chat, I also think maybe we need to have a little talk about where and when to subscribe. Because I'm a simple man, I'm easily distracted. And the ghoul gets no name for reasons that are not important. Actually, we might be able to get to marriage real quick. We actually don't need to go upstairs and get anything right now. Nice torch. Small key. Oh, we could go back. We don't need to go back and get him yet. Okay. Uh, God damn, chat. God damn. Did I... Did I get the weapons from... I don't think I did. Oh, no. I, I, I... Did I forget to get the weapons in that prison where... Or in the room with the knight? I think I might have... Oh, let's get a skinny knife. Didn't check the weapons. No, okay. That's okay, we can circle back around and get them. But hey, you know, I really like doing these streams. Um, genuinely, I would not, like, Fear and Hunger is such a fun game to stream. And I would genuinely, even with Street Fighter 6 out, I really just wanted to come and hang out and stream because it's been so much fun. Like, genuinely, I think... Um, I've always been trying to like figure out how streaming works for me and I think the last couple of weeks especially these streams have been great. An ancient book with a very like a siren's call the book is calling to you. That book that uh, that book is pretty dangerous. Oh no way. Wooden buckler that's a really good item to have in a thing like that. Um, he has one. He does not cool. So, Street Fighter 6 Marissa. Yep, she's already my main. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. She's just great. I just think she's cool. And I love how much she loves fighting. That motherfucking Crow Mauler. Oh, I'm... The Crow Mauler has, like, fucked me up before. But it's been a while that he fucked me up in that specific a way. Uh, DJ rules in, um, DJ absolutely rules in Street Fighter 6. Oh, nice. We're, get, we're getting some good items here. Um, and we slide on past him. That's good. Um, I think we can take this guy without too much issue. 
Okay. Oh shit, I'm hungry. That's not good. Uh, I think maybe we can still take him though. Um, I apologize. This is prying too personally. Are you doing all right? Oh, um, hey, aside from, uh, I recall in the last podcast you mentioning the break due to tough times. Uh, I'm okay. Um, that was more in reference to just shit that Brian and Neve have to deal through deal with. I don't really want to talk about too much about it because it's kind of their shit. But um, yeah, they've both Brian and Neve have both gone through like a fair few changes in their personal life and you know it's been tricky and it's one of the reasons that like it's been kind of news on the podcast has been kind of slow because i don't really want to be bugging them with like oh when's the podcast coming back when's the podcast coming back when you know they have shit going on like everyone's good everyone's healthy but yeah they, they both of them individually have kind of been through a lot recently Ha, ah, you can't infect the skeleton because it has no skin. And now you can't infect anything at all, my friend. Oh, hey, thanks for subscribing. Luppy, Luppy, thank you for the subscription. Appreciate it. Dang. I want another meat shield. Ah, it's not really worth it though. I I could I could get him, but the thing is it would cost me it might cost me a lot of sanity, and later on in the game you really need those sanity restoring items. Um I don't think there's anything you could do to support them. They've it's just Yeah, it's not shit I really want to talk about, but they're 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 healthy, they're okay, but yeah, it's just Shit's been a lot. He's not around. He's not around. I'll take it. Assassin's Hand. Oh, there's some great shit in the Assassin's Handbook. Okay, awesome. We just learned how to make skins. That's really useful. Creation of life. Tale of the Pocket Cat. Don't want to talk about Pocket Cat. Not a fan of that guy. Oh, shit, a Book of Enlightenment. Uh, a Book of Enlightenment is basically just a free... It's just a free save. Okay, I actually want to max out this guy's conversation because we can get him... Um, I think that's everything we can say to him. So now he should appear in the ticket. Been doing 25 sessions of hyperbaric oxygen therapy to treat my uh, long COVID. The new fear and hunger obsession streams video helped a lot to get through the sessions. Thanks. Oh man, that's so, that's really kind of you to say. Digital fantastic. Hope you're doing all right, buddy. That sounds really rough. Um, I'm really glad if these help you in some level. Um... That's always really cool to know. I kind of, you know, I, I really enjoy doing them. And it's nice to know that, like, people like them and shit as well. But I'm, I'm sorry that you kind of been going through it, buddy. That sucks. Okay, now we just got to get away from these dogs. Nice. Damn it, stupid dogs. Oh, okay, nice. Okay. How many torches do we have? None! Okay! Uh, huh. I guess... Oh, fuck. It was up here, wasn't it?
I really love the sound design down here, like the creaking of the trees and everything. It's it just sounds it's really like haunting and weird. Torch, nice. See, you always find a torch when you're about to run out. The problem is like if you're a place where there's no torch near, you sometimes do not find them. Is there any okay, is it down here? Here we go. Um, yeah, everyone just keeps telling me how amazing Termania is, and I'm looking forward to it. I think the day I play Termania, we will probably do, like, a charity stream or something. I think that'd be really cool. Because, like, do you know, like, out of all my time on YouTube, do you know one of my absolute favorite things I've ever done? The, like, 18-hour Undertale stream was some of the most fun I have ever had in my life. Uh, that was such a pleasure and like we made you know we made a bunch of money but like i got to just hang out and talk to so many cool people and it's just fucking crazy like it was so fun um termania does have a sensor mod as far as i know and i think it also goes a lot it, it goes a lot softer on like the the potentially sensitive content well not potentially the sensitive content uh, I need to get past this guy. Terminate is a lot less SA, but there's still penises, yeah. Yeah, I will, I will, I will definitely unequip before marriage this time. God, that was devastating last time. You know what? Uh, I could use another Skele buddy, but... No, I don't think it's a good idea. Okay, yeah, no, I'm gonna eat some more food because... Uh, cabbages restore a surprising amount of hunger in this. Uh, torch, nice. Okay, this is all good. This is all good. Oh, let's kill this thing. So, there's one more of those things we have to kill. Um, but it's very late game. Oh, wait, we can just force this door. I completely forgot. Yeah, we should be we should be able to force this, hopefully. No, because my friends are idiots. Nah, god. Oh, nice. Okay, we did it. And then in this room, we should be able to get a Book of Enlightenment. Yes. Okay, we have two save games now. That's pretty good. Um, not yet. Not yet. Now we can slip by him. Tinder boxes. That's what we needed. Turn up. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Uh Okay, okay. Please, 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 please. How? How? Bear trap, bear trap, please, 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 bear trap. Nothing, no bear trap, god damn. Lay this one on for size. If you're gonna be into... If you're gonna be... Come, come on. Okay. If he goes for either the zombie or the skeleton, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, get him, ghoul. Yeah, you can do it. 
Okay. Is he gonna peck? No, he's gonna stare. Um, yeah, poison is usually how I beat um, Chromaller Zood, but I this I don't think this party this party cannot be a terror and starvation Chromaller. Oh my God. Please, 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 just let us go. Please, just let us go. Please. Oh! Lagarde, shut the fuck up! Oh, shit, this dude. Ah. Uh, mm. Is he still coming? Is the other guy still coming? Oh, oh mm, these guys are dangerous. These guys are really dangerous. Uh, fight or run, chat. Fight or run. Run, okay. Oh, 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 he's coming. He's a coming. Throwing dart, nice. The chair is surprisingly comfy. You can relax here for a brief minute. This is what it must feel like sitting on a throne. The idea lingers to your mind that you come to these dungeons on your own free will. No one forced you to come here. You could just have slept late. You could have just slept late on the morning you embarked on this macabre quest of yours. There are countless things you could be enjoying at this very moment, but instead, you sit on this chair surrounded by the piercing cold darkness. Sitting here, knowing that the moment you get up, death might be waiting for you just around the corner. It's horrible, to say the least. So that chair was what I was originally going to end on in the Fear and Hunger video. That paragraph of text was going to be the conclusion. Um, but I decided, I decided to cut it just because I didn't need to do it. Oh. Thank you, Eadros. Happy Pride Month. Okay. So, I think that is where our adventure ends today, chat. Back here, next time, next week, and we're gonna we're gonna keep going from this point.